it for people like you and I. What God cannot do does not exist. What my God cannot do does not exist. Good morning, everyone. My name is Hawa. I'm calling in from Germany. Uh, I'm here to thank God for his wonders in my life, um, for everything that he has done in my life. I joined NSPPD in February 2021, and I have been believing God for marital settlements. I have been praying. I have been fervent. I have been steadfast. I don't miss a day on this altar. Even when I'm at work, I have my earpiece on, or any day that I missed when I come back. I repeat, I always repeat it. And um, Papa has been praying for women in their 40s and their 50s. I don't know why God is saying it again. Uh, women in their 50s, uh, women in their 40s, uh, women in their 60s. Uh, I say, take your marital mantra. Take it right now. Take it right now. And I've been praying, I've been steadfast, I've been believing. Before this time, prior to this time, there was no bobo, there was no body and all that. And um, all of a sudden, I met um, this guy from someone, a family friend, who got talking and all that. And he just said that this is what I want, this is it. When Papa was declaring, pick a date, God is clothing you with a marital dress. I see a lot of females uh, in their wedding gowns. Uh, I see a lot of females uh, in their wedding gowns. Uh, all oh, yeah, fix a date. If you are one of them, fix a date. Fix a date. The Lord is bringing your own. Your honor, your honor. I picked a date here. Yeah, I have my, I'm going to read it all here yes, because I have my prayer book. I'm going to read everything from my prayer book. So Papa said pick a date for your wedding and all that. And um, I picked a date for um, the next, before my next birthday. And Papa, I'm sharing the month with you. My birthday is on the 26th. So I picked a date for my wedding. I said, before my next birthday, I want to be married. I want to be a missus. I want to be married before my next birthday. So um, on the 5th of June, 2023, I received the word from the man of God saying, between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. Nigerian time, may a long awaited good news at the sound of your amen, it shall enter your life. Between the hours of 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Nigerian time, a long awaited good news, a long awaited good news, at the sound of your amen, it shall enter your life. And at exactly 2.45 p.m. here in Germany, which is 1.45 p.m. in Nigeria, my good news entered that my wedding date that I picked, which is on the 17th of August, was approved. And as I'm speaking to you on the 17th of August, I had my wedding, everything went fine. I am a missus, I am married, happily married. Um, as I asked God on this altar, he did it for me. He did not just give me a man, anyhow man, you know. God gave me the best of the best. <laughs> I want to use this medium to say, Papa, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your efforts, for your time coming here every day to wake us up to pray. Thank you so much. God bless you. And everybody, watch this face. I'm coming back with my Obago testimony. Thank you, Papa. God bless you. What my God cannot do does not exist. Hi everybody, my name is Tolani from Lagos. I am giving this testimony on behalf of my brother. Um, my brother has, has been having this symptom for close to like 10 years, um, even before he got to the university and all of that. So we've been doing tests from there, did HIV test, did a whole lot of tests. Uh, nothing was wrong with him. But some symptoms were evident in his body. His eyeball socket was going in and all of that. So there was something wrong but they could not see what the, what the issue is. So 
eventually I actually um, refer him to a doctor friend who diagnosed him and he said he has lymphoma. I spoke and I gave him many speaking to him. I said, we need to join this prison. It's something. Look, I have seen dead people come to life on this altar. Look, because I am on this altar, it covers every one of you. And it even pays more if you are in this altar with me. So pray every day. There is nothing like lymphoma in your, in your body. So days after days, cost of keep mentioning cancer of the new snow disappeared. Cancer of the leaf node, Abalina, Ashabada. If you are the one putting on the last shiver, cancer of the leaf node, I command, let it be reversed. Every time you mentioned, I will call my brother and said, Ha, ah, your case has been mentioned. Your case has been mentioned. Your case has been mentioned. If you say, I'm on the altar too, I heard this. I said, Believe. Believe God has done it. Believe God has done it. After, God, after his case was mentioned on the fire altar, he went to the test. So I was called and I was told that there's nothing like that. That where did you see the previous report? And that's okay. What was the. All the symptoms that he's having, it must have been related to them. He said, ah, anything must have been related, but it's not malignant. Everything is fine. He just needs to change his diet. And that was all. God did it on that spot. I want to give glory to God for being there. Because I, 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 I don't know what will have been my lot if I'm not on this spot. God delivered my brother. What my God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do? does not exist. What my good God cannot do does not exist. My name is Mrs. Felicia Shema, making this video from Anambra State, Nigeria. My testimony goes to my husband, who diagnosed of a diaphragm collapse last year. He was feared that he cannot able to get up erect. Oh God, I took his name to the great altar of fire, praying over it. On the 4th of uh, January this year, Pastor Jesus mentioned his case, where he said, different collapse is not reversed. Different collapse is not reversed. I said, this is my case. For the Lord is showing mercy. I don't know what the candle Collapse of your diaphragm. I don't know what this means. By the mercies of God, I decree, let it be reversed by fire. I grab it and continue praying, calling God. Pastor David, since that time that he mentioned this case, this sickness has already devast. It's now moving very perfectly well. We don't know that happened, something happened to him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Pastor Jerez, and all the pastors that are praying for us every morning. You are trying. Thank you, God, for using your child, Pastor Jerez, to liberate the captives. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Jerez. God bless you and your family. May the oil in your head never run dry forever. Thank you. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Oh, oh my Jehovah cannot turn around. Does not exist. We did pray. We did show. God the answer. Pastor Jerry, thank you. My name is Blessing. I'm doing this video from Ogo State, Nigeria. I joined this link last year, early last year. A friend sent it to me. I was a single mother over eight years. Like my boy was clocking. My boy will be 12 years this by December. So it was a worry for my parents. A friend sent me this link early last year. So I joined. I started following. It was very interesting. So Pastor Jerry, last year, usually prophesy what you are afraid of will not happen what you are afraid of will not happen like it will not end the way the devil plan it so i and he asks us to write what we want god to do for us our and uh, what's it called congratulatory notes and transition notes so i wrote a lot of things and one of the issues there was i want to become um i want to transit from a single mom to a married woman then he asked us to print um print pictures i print pictures of 
a man and a woman holding hands you know beautiful things my company my business uh, money traveling outside the country children i printed a lot of beautiful things to cut the old story short it's like see god rush me like double for your trouble like you know it's belong that same last year god blessed me with a wonderful man a lovely husband you know after everything family you know coming together immediately i got pregnant then i finally deliver on the 9th of june this year my nsppd baby showed up a lovely bouncing baby boy pastor jerry look at your boy baby chamo his name is Chamuel. People used to say, is it Samuel? Is he a man? Is he a man? Is not Samuel. Chamuel. C-H-A-M-U-E-L. It means he who seek God. I seek God. I find him. And he answered me. He make my life so beautiful. Bless me with a wonderful family. With a husband. A wonderful husband that understands, that cares. Pastor Jerry, God bless you. What the NSVPD God bless you. We they pray, he they show, and God the answer. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. What my God cannot do does not exist. Indeed, miracle not the tired Jesus. In 2021, I had still bed. Almost to deliver, I lost the baby. And I've been having a series of miscarriages, at least I had two. Not until when my auntie in Canada forwarded the link to me when I had the stillbirth. She said, does it mean you've not been following this link? I said, no, I have not opened it before. She said, please be following it and stop crying. That was when I joined in January 2022. In the meanwhile, I've actually made up my mind that I'm not going to try again conceiving since it's like now, it's not favoring me. Miscarriage, stillbirth. When I, I started following, I started hearing people's testimony. And I listened to the testimonies. It really encouraged me to follow the next day. I now became serious. In March, I became very, very serious. That was when I said that I have to try to get pregnant. In August, I took it. I started praying. Though I had fears, because I don't know what happened the last time that my baby died in the womb, almost at 36 weeks. I decided to be very, very mean with the prayers. And all my prayer points was, God, keep this baby to them. Keep this baby to them. And Pastor Jerry is a keep declaring what you're afraid of will not happen. I don't know who needs to hear this. At the sound of your amen, what you are afraid of will not happen. Every time I will claim it, I'm the one. The affliction will not arise again the second time. I will claim it, I'm the one. He will say that your baby will not die again in your womb, but I will claim it that I'm the one. I don't know why children keep dying in your womb. And by the message of God, I decree and declare over your life, it will not happen again. That was how I carried the pregnancy to them without any complications. I did not feel any kind of pains. During delivery, it was quick and very, very easy. I delivered my baby, and the baby I delivered is my choice of baby, a baby girl. And that is exactly what I wrote in my congratulatory note. Everything I wrote, God granted it to me. These are the sheets. These are all the things I used to write down when Pastor Jerry was say right. I asked God that I am not only going to carry this baby, without a car because the car was using sports i said i will carry this baby with a car and that was how i got this car prior to my delivery i have a car i bought a car to be carrying the baby as god has answered in the altar of fire god make my business to be moving very well in this altar all i ask god for he did it for me this is my evidence sheet everything written on this sheet Brothers and sisters, everything written on this sheet, God granted it. Look at how plenty it is. God granted it though. I ask God that as this as I have conceived now, the baby should be a baby girl. Granted. I need a car. Granted. I need my business to be moving well. Granted. 
I have my evidence. God has done me well. God has shown me mercy. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Nevanchang Afanwi. I am making this video from Cameroon. It is a testimony on behalf of my son. My son fell sick in July 2007. On a Tuesday at 4 p.m., he was sleeping and he cried in a dream and he entered in a coma for one month, two weeks. When he came out of that coma, he lost his memory, could not walk. We started training him again as a child. By then, he was seven years. When he recovered from that stage, one year after he fell again, we took him to the hospital and doctors suspected epilepsy due to long-term coma according to his age and they asked us to do this test to scan his brain see what is wrong with him and so they scanned the results of the scan in 2008 showed that he was he had chronic epilepsy due to that long-term coma it's written in french so they placed him on treatment and after some time he was fine fast forward to 2019 he started a new type of crisis he was not ha having epilepsy again. He was not falling, but he was hearing voices and acting according to the voices. He would say that people are telling him, he's hearing voices, they are telling him to be misbehaving. That he, and he was behaving according to the, the voices. He could no longer go to school. The crisis were so bad in a way that there were days that we had to tie him in the house because when he goes out of the house, he'll be running in the quarter. We took him to many prayer houses, hospitals. They were not seeing anything wrong with him. We took him to for deliverance. After so many series of deliverance, he was not still moving. We took him to a psychiatric and they said that he was suffering from hallucin hallucination and schizophrenia. That the part of the brain that is perceiving sound has a problem. And so they placed him on treatment again. It was not still moving. This child was continuously having crisis, so much so that he will not want us to pray again. He will be warning people he doesn't want prayer in the house. It was so violent. He will come to my room and be, be just be shouting, where is that your God? That your God cannot help you. Would that your God come down from heaven and help me? You are wasting your time with those your prayers. It will not work. Fast forward to <coughs> October to 2022. My niece introduced me to NSPPD, that I should try NSPPD after we have tried so many prayer houses, so many hospitals, we should try NSPPD. And when we started the prayer, I loved the prayers and I was very serious on the altar. Pastor Jerry was always mentioning of schizophrenia and hallucination, that God is reverse, reversing schizophrenia and hallucination. Schizophrenia, oh, that's what I hear. Schizophrenia, if you are the one, put it on the live stream. By the power that is Jesus from the dead, all your nails, they be reversed. I see a sound uh, that is hallucinating. Uh, he looks like he has gone mad. Uh, if you have the mother, put it on the last room. Uh, I come and let the very first fire. Uh. We did the scan again, and the scan showed that his brain cells were not having any problem, that his brain cells were doing perfectly well. We did this scan after receiving a word of knowledge on the altar of fire when Pastor Jerry said, that, it, that was on Tuesday, 14th of March. Pastor Jerry said that <clears throat> the deliverance power of God is locating anyone who is hearing voices and behaving as if he is mad. I don't know who you are. Let the deliverance power of God uh, locate that one. Uh, who hears strange voices. Uh, strange voices. Uh, strange voices. Uh, strange voices uh, abarasana, anyone under the sound of my voice. Uh, rabalakata. All of strange voices that almost want to draw you and make you run mad. I command, let it be broken right now. Let it be broken right now. So when we keyed into this prayer, we now went in for the second scan, which came out negative that his brain cells are doing perfectly fine. Before we did the scan, the doctors also they made him some lab tests which showed that he, he had also a bacteria in the brain. And in April 13th, Pastor Jerry mentioned 
that God is reversing any bacteria in the brain, that God is reversing any bacteria in the brain. I don't know who you are. Bacteria in your brain. Bacteria in your brain. If you are the one putting it on the live stream, about the power that rest Jesus from the dead, I command, let it be reversed right now. That is how we went and did the test again for the bacteria in the brain and he was free. From that time till now, he has been calm. He's not acting again. He's not hearing voices again. He has been fine. Pastor Jerry, I want to thank you for my life. I want to thank you for the prayer that you have been praying for me. And the prayer that you were praying, it came and touched me and I was healed. I want to say thank you. We want to thank Pastor Jerry for everything because what we have seen on this altar of fire, we have been looking for it for the past 16 years. We have moved from one prayer house to the other, from one hospital to another with no solution. I thank God for everything. I thank the heroic that sees me. What God cannot do does not exist. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. Thank you. Good God. Good God. Good God. Good God. To you be all the glory and honor in the name of Jesus. And as obedience, what do you say to a God who is absolutely very amazing? How do you describe a God who is indescribable? And as obedience, I'm not sure you heard what that woman said. For the past 16 years, they've been looking for the solution. Gone from one hospital to another, from one prayer house to another, but right on this altar. Right on this altar. And as videos, would you help me wave your hands to the doer of this great miracle? Wave your hands to the doer of this great miracle. God is here. God is here. Jacob said, God is here. I do not know it. And I did not know it, but God is here. And we know it. We know it that God is here. To God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. In the name of Jesus. For what our God cannot do. I don't even know how to feel. I don't even I don't even know that I know the right words to say. This is absolutely unbelievable. This is the kind of testimony if someone told you about it, you'll just keep asking, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? But the interesting thing about it, you know, I, I, it's just the way God followed them with his word. Uh, God followed them with his words. If they say it's hallucination, God had a word from it. If they say it's schizophrenia, God had a word for it. If they said it's bacteria in the brain God had a word for it. God followed them even when all the things that doctors did did not work once God gave a word for it it was terminated people of God look at this thing started this child was seven years old so this child has lived like this from infant till now from infant till now from infant till now from Eva, and this is what the woman said. We've been looking for a solution for the past 16 years. So this is 16 years that the devil tried to rubbish the destiny of this child. Thunder will fire the devil. And I, and I mean it from the depth of my being. People of God, I don't even know what to say. But hear me as I hear the Lord. Whatever that has come to tamper with what the Lord has given to you, at the sound of your amen, let it be broken right now. People of God, help me shout power. power. 
the days of his power are not yet over. Yes, they are sir. not over. They are not over. Look what he did. Look what Jesus did. For what this great God cannot do yes, does not says. exist. And, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. I could stay on this forever. Too many things are just, are just, are just, are just lighting bulbs in my head. And while you're still trying to, you know, recover from it, you know, we have seen God in recent times start remembering women in their 40s, yes, women in their 50s. It looks like the door has opened. If you are in your late 30s, if you're in your 40s and your 50s, this is a Kairos moment. Yes, oh, the door has opened. If you desire to take your own husband yes, or wife, receive the person right now. Receive your spouse right now. Listen, let me tell you before September becomes October, All let right. it become your evidence. And I announce the first two weeks of October will not pass you by. Let your amen turn the louder. People of God, you know, initially, uh, um, th th there's a testimony that got me confused, you know, so, and, I, and I'm looking at that testimony and I'm asking myself, okay, is this a testimony for a child, you know, for the, for a child, you know, so I'm, I was just like, okay, this woman gave birth until, and I've realized that um, she's a single mother, yes, sir. she's a single mother, yes, she's a single mother, yes, and look at the fine husband that God gave her, yes, a single mother, yes, this God there, you shall know how to wipe tears yes, away from sir. people, a single mother God gave her her husband and God did not stop with her husband God also gave her a child I want to say to someone your story is not over Amen. your story is not over Amen. Jesus makes beautiful things happen out of nowhere little wonder the Bible says beauty for rashes people of God the oil of joy for mourning a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness this God is good and I love the ending part of this scripture he said that we might be called trees of righteousness planting of the Lord people of God what our God cannot do does not exist. exist. And people of God, look at that collapse of the diaphragm. People of God, what our God cannot do does not exist. Look at that lymphoma, and that is cancer of the lymphatic system. Look at how Jesus reversed it. And then look at that also, that testimony. Okay, I already mentioned it about the woman in her 40s as well. What our great God cannot do does not exist. Look at that one of secondary infertility with the, the stillbirth and the miscarriage. But when you come to Jesus, he's simply breaks all the patterns. Yes, and as people I like it here. Yes, we they pray, he he they show. show. We they pray, he he they show. show. What our God, again, I, I am awed by this God who's been, you know, for one second I sit back, I say, oh, so there's been a time I even mentioned bacteria in the brain. So, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I'm, just, and I'm just saying to myself, so bacteria can enter the brain. People of God, what our God cannot do. Does not and then the Spipidians, if you're, listen, oh, listen, oh, hey, <laughs> listen, oh, as September becomes October, uh -huh. somebody with the loudest amen, your uh -huh. laughter will be heard in the streets. Yeah. <laughs> You cried secretly. God is about to surprise you publicly. People of God, for private tears you have shared, there's going to be a public celebration. People will be celebrating with you, but they will not know. They will not know what the Lord did. If your amen were to under carry your own in the first seven days. And if you're ready right now, NSPPDs, we are ready. People of God, we pray over every liquid you have. It ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the very blood of Jesus. Amen. We pray over every substance you have. It ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the flesh of Jesus. And our first communion is the communion that says every negative old chapter ends right now. Amen. It's a communion that says no carryover of negativity. Amen. Go ahead and eat of the flesh of Jesus.